Detectives tell us they expect additional charges for suspected gang members they've arrested over the last month. Channel 2 Action News broke the details of a major investigation in several violent cases throughout Atlanta. Channel 2's Ryan Young is live on Ezard Street where thieves held a woman at gunpoint and also stole her car, Ryan. They stole her car and she was a federal agent. Look, every one of these cases have been tied together now. Over 38 crimes and I can tell you each victim has a story to tell. According to APD detectives, gang members would carjack one person, take that car, and then use it to commit another round of crimes. Sometimes they would carjack more than one person in one night. And detectives tell me the apartment complex behind me was a dumping ground for this gang. In fact, this is Center Street in northwest Atlanta. And almost every time a car was carjacked, it was brought here. For the victims, the crimes happened fast and without warning. Soon as I stepped out of my car, like they were all almost like ducking down, waiting for me to get out. We are the only ones to see the chart detectives use to map out the crimes. Gang members have been connected to street robberies and more seriously. When they hit the door, it sounded like a bomb. Home invasions that left homeowners shaken. They hit me several times in the head with this. I'd say that these guys are menaces to society. More than 38 victims across Metro Atlanta. Gang task force members work to find the gang members. 15 are now under arrest some as young as 15. We assigned this entire uh, investigation to our gang unit. Uh, we recognized that there was some gang affiliation and we take that very seriously. I think they're extremely dangerous. Even the 15 year olds will be charged as adults. I can tell you on some nights detectives say they would commit as many as five crimes and there's something they were glad they were able to stop. Reporting live in Southeast Atlanta, Ryan Young, Channel 2 Action News.